Hi welcome to Fit Interior. this year the price for most laptops has significantly spiked due to COVID. It's even more difficult to find a decent budget laptop especially under $200, but in today's video, we dig deep and compared multiple laptops, trying to find you some of the best laptops under $200 in 2020 and 2021. That said, the link for all of the products we mentioned will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. First on our list is the Acer 315. The Acer Chromebook 315 features a basic design, but simultaneously looks and feels far superior to the plastic clamshells that once dominated the Chromebook market. It's built from a slim aluminum casing that feels smooth and sturdy. In terms of design, this 15-inch device has a good build quality for a $200 laptop. The aluminum chassis houses a decent keyboard for the price. It also has a dedicated numb pad. The key travel is decent, but they feel noticeably spongy, resulting in an unsatisfactory typing experience. Although the speaker is down firing, the sound that comes out of it feels good with a bit muffled output due to the placement. Connectivity is also excellent with the device including two USB-C, one for power delivery, two USB-A ports, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot. In terms of performance, you don't expect this Chromebook to punch above its weight, since it comes at an incredibly cheaper price, it comfortably can handle any word processing and web browsing without any slowdown, thanks to its 4GB of RAM, you can also play music via Spotify, while opening 10 Google Chrome tabs without any problem, streaming videos with YouTube, and Netflix went smoothly on this device, since this is a Chromebook it runs only on Chrome operating system instead of Windows. In terms of gaming, a lot of popular games are ruled out here, including Minecraft and Fortnite. Google Stadia is a good workaround for gaming, but it currently has a small library, and you'll need a strong internet connection for a good performance. Otherwise, you're limited to the likes of Angry Birds and Clash of Clans. Overall, if you want a strong 15-inch laptop that you can use for light day-to-day -day computing at an affordable price, the Acer Chromebook 315 is a great option. The Samsung Chromebook 3 is a great little option for both school and entertainment, especially for younger kids and frequent travelers. This 11.6-inch notebook not only boasts a fantastic screen and nearly 10 hours of battery life, but also comes with 4GB of RAM, so you can expect solid performance. And because its 32GB of storage isn't taken up by Windows 10, you'll find plenty of onboard storage for your personal files. In terms of design for a sub-$200 device, the Chromebook 3's build quality is surprisingly good, even though it's made of plastic. The textured metallic black looks classy enough for any setting. Typing on the Samsung Chromebook 3's spill-resistant keyboard feels comfortable as well, as its keys are ever so slightly curved to fit your fingertips and keep your fingers oriented. The keys are well-sized and take full advantage of the width of the device, which is good news for people with bigger fingers. The Samsung Chromebook 3 has a good port peripherals that include one USB 2.0 port, one USB 3.0 port, a full-size HDMI port, a micro SD card slot, and a combination of audio and microphone jack. In terms of performance with a 1.6 GHz Intel Seller and N3060 processor, 4 GB of RAM and 2 GB of eMMC flash storage, the Chromebook 3 has the performance you need for handling web surfing and word processing. You can even watch a couple of 1080p movie trailers, while 10 or more tabs are running in the background without serious lag. With its integrated Intel HD Graphics 400 GPU, the Chromebook 3 can handle some casual web-based and app games, such as Cut the Rope, and some web-based 3D games. The Acer Chromebook 311 is a great addition if you want a good compact Chromebook with a longer battery life. Acer Chromebook 311 is equipped with a bright and great screen, the highest model offering a touchscreen and IPS panel. It has a diagonal 11.6-inch screen with a 1366 by 768 pixel screen resolution. Although, the device has a profile of 18.2 millimeters, which is a bit thick for an 11-incher, it weighs just 3.89 pounds. This comes in a combination with the all-plastic build. Design-wise it is bathed in silver and has a matte finish. As you open the lid, you'll see a black brushed plastic for the base. Despite the rather cheap build, the laptop gives you confidence in the hand, thanks to its sturdy chassis. On the other hand, the material used in the keyboard deck feels a bit cheap. However, the keyboard is decent enough and is pretty comfortable to type on, thanks to the rather long travel and clicky feedback. 
Similarly, the touchpad feels accurate and relatively fast for a Chromebook. In terms of connectivity, on the left side, there is a USB Type-C 3.1 port, which is used for charging and has DisplayPort capabilities. Next to it, you'll find a USB Type-A port, a micro SD card reader and an audio jack. Then on the right, you can see the Kensington lock, as well as the same USB configuration as on the other side. Ultimately, this means you can charge the laptop from both sides. Performance-wise, this device is equipped with an Intel Celeron N4100 quad-core CPU, with a maximum operating frequency of 2.40 GHz. It has 4 GB of low-power DDR4 RAM, which is a great addition if you want to slightly elongate your battery life while multitasking and browsing the web with multiple Chrome tabs open. Its battery life can surprisingly last 11 hours, while web browsing can also last 7 hours on video playback, in addition this device run on Chrome operating system, with 32 GB of inbuilt flash storage. It also weighs just 3 pounds which makes this laptop ideal for writers, frequent travelers and also for college students. Nearly four years after the debut of Samsung's Chromebook 3, the company has announced a follow-up to its core Chromebook laptop. The new 11.6-inch Chromebook 4 has been released recently. Design-wise, the Samsung Chromebook 4 looks exactly like you'd expect from its low price. With curved edges and a silver hue, the Samsung Chromebook 4 looks a lot like the many MacBook copycats we've seen over the years. Its aluminum top feels nicer, but the laptop's plastic body is a clear reminder of its relatively low price. It feels sturdy even with its plastic body. This model is fitted with an 11.6-inch display and a 1366 by 768 resolution screen. At 2.6 pounds in weight and 0.7 inches thick, the Samsung Chromebook 4 is a hair heavier than the Samsung Chromebook 3. The typing experience on this laptop is also pretty okay. The keys felt a little shallow, but they're not bad by any stretch. Similarly, the Chromebook 4's touchpad is acceptable and does a good enough job of tracking taps and scrolling. Pinch and pull gestures also move smoothly. In terms of performance, this device is powered by Intel Celeron N4000, the lowest entry-level Intel chip you can get in the current generation of chips. This processor runs at speeds between 1.10 GHz and 2.60 GHz, with the built-in turbo boost function. However, as a lower mid-range processor, it is more than enough for daily operations. In addition, this laptop features 4 GB of low-power DDR4 RAM, it can help multitasks decently, especially for its price range. Operations like pulling up apps, switching between tabs and videos, and instantaneous loading of web pages are smooth. The machine performed flawlessly with about 10 Chrome tabs, a Google Drive file, and a 1080 YouTube video all open. In addition, Samsung estimates that the Chromebook 4 will yield 12.5 hours of battery life, which is great for some road warriors. Overall, Samsung Chromebook 4 is an excellent budget Chromebook. Its durable build and great performance earn its recognition amongst many budget Chromebooks. Lenovo IdeaPad 1 is designed and manufactured by keeping needs and budget of everyday users in mind. It is a Windows laptop which offers reliable performance and battery life and a good-looking chassis. The laptop is finished in a platinum gray color which gives this laptop a professional and stylish looks. It is less than an inch thick and also weighs around 3 pounds which makes this laptop ideal for people who travel more often. Lenovo One IdeaPad comes with a year of subscription for Microsoft Office 365 Personal, if you will be using Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. This lightweight and portable device has a 14-inch energy-efficient LED backlit HD display with 1366 by 768 pixel resolution with an adequate picture quality and a TN panel. It has a keyboard with adequately big keys to type conveniently, and it has a decent touchpad as well. Connectivity options in this 14-inch device include two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI 1.4 output, a headphone microphone combo jack, and a media card reader that supports micro SD formats, although it's a trend to see USB-C on most 2020 budget laptop this one doesn't have one. In terms of performance, the AMD A69220E is a dual-core processor that works at the speeds of 1.6 GHz and 2.4 GHz with the Turbo Boost function. Some benchmark tests show that this laptop has a low mid-range processor with enough power for everyday work and entertainment tasks and multitasking power. You really shouldn't keep your expectations too high at this low price level.
In addition, this laptop house a 4GB DDR4 system memory with high bandwidth is good for basic multitasking to run multiple browsers and applications at once. 64GB MMC flash memory is not a lot of storage, but better than the 32GB available on the previous laptops we mentioned. And you have the quicker boot up times and HD video playback support, better than a regular HDD drive. At this price point this laptop is impressively equipped with Windows 10 64-bit home with Microsoft Edge browser with the web pages markup on screen and Cortana personal assistant. The AMD Radeon R4 is the basic integrated graphics card with a video card benchmark score of 398. It can definitely handle some older and more simple games like FIFA fluently. Which is a great addition at this price point. The 35 watt hour lithium ion battery should give you around 8 hours of uptime with light usage of web browsing, YouTube videos, and simple tasks. If you're seriously on budget, this is the best you can get right now. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.